Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Ooh, Scorpio, you have someone here who is in love with you. Make a wish. Mm, you will get what you want from this situation with this person, Scorpio. We have energy of soulmates. This is someone who feels that this union is divinely guided, that I feel this person sees you as their soulmate, essentially. We have spotlight. You have someone here who wants to give you lots of attention, who puts you on a pedestal. You are a gem. No one compares to you, Scorpio. You are very unique for them. But this is someone who has insecurities, who might have trust issues, but uh, they, they, they are really in, they're really in love with you, I would say. They really are. The amount of hearts here. <laughs> we have so many hearts, this big, beautiful heart. It's like this person is very proud that they got your attention we have wishes so wishes coming true dreams coming coming into fruition make a wish scorpio this is a nine of cups energy because um you will get what you want regarding this connection very beautiful energy you are here in a position of power Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. You have someone who's very passionate about you. They don't want to give up on this situation, on this connection. They are very protective, I would say, over this connection. Strength. Ooh. Leo energy, Scorpio. You might be dealing with Leo, but Leo suggests that this person feels that they share a very strong bond with you. Okay, show me more about this situation, please, for Scorpio and this person. Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, mm -hmm. Six of Swords, that will be a progress, good, that's good, that's a good energy. Justice, Libra, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Swords, Two of Swords, okay. Three of Wands. This is someone who have been waiting for you for a very, very long time. It's like they've been waiting for someone like you. Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. For some of you, um, you might be in touch with this person through internet. Doesn't have to be, but Page of Swords suggests that it might be a case. This is someone who's very, very curious. It wouldn't surprise me if you are, if you are dealing with another Scorpio. But um, this person here, it's coming with... It's like the good news are on the horizon. You have someone who has insecurities. Because this page of sorts suggests that this person it's very interested in you but it might be because that they also spying on you for instance if you have social media they would be checking your social media you know maybe watching your stories they might be asking for instance why you like this person's photo they would be this is all insecurities and five of swords with the six of swords which is actually a good combination of cards regarding this situation and i'll tell you why in a second five of swords suggests that this person has this kind of tendencies to project those insecurities on certain connections. And this is energy of self-sabotage. This is someone who needs to be aware that they need to kind of stop, stop projecting those insecurities. Okay, and it feels that they are aware of that. Five of Swords, uh, can represent mind games, you know, someone 
who is manipulative and the thing is here that it's like they are it might be a case that this person has trust issues and they are kind of spying on you uh, regarding for instance your social media they have or they are thinking a lot about you because um, uh, this is someone who've experienced some sort of kind of a very very difficult situation form of betrayal and it's and it's like they are, they might be assuming um, that thinks you know that history can repeat itself again this is someone who momentarily might be kind of again this is trust and i feel this person has trust issues they might assuming that for instance you might be in touch with someone else or you like this person photo so immediately you, you you might be kind of interested in them which is obviously might not be true at all and that's this energy of self-sabotage however with the six of swords because we have a five of swords and to the six of swords there will be a progress regarding the situation because we have we have a five to six and six of swords is like a detaching from that issue represented by the five of swords that insecurities and that energy of self-sabotage in order um, to bring more harmony and tranquility to the situation so it feels like this person really cares about this connection and they are willing to kind of chill a little bit you know with regards to their jealousy or um, with regards to their uh, insecurities. It's like this person wants to detach from that energy in order to be in a happy relationship because you have someone here who knows and I feel that um, in the past uh, that also affected the previous connections and, it, and the thing is that it doesn't have to be, for instance, a love-related situation it's like a friendship situation that they've experienced that they had like they had friend and because there were some trust issues regarding that friendship they've sabotaged this connection you know it's like a pattern of behavior pattern of behavior then we have justice to the nine of pentacles page of pentacles and ten of swords mm -hmm. this is someone who has serious intentions towards you with the justice that's 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 big time nine of pentacles uh they see you as someone who is very abundant very beautiful uh also very self-sufficient and very independent and momentarily they might be getting kind of impression that um it's like i feel that if you don't reply on the, the message immediately this person is assuming it's like they have 110 scenarios in their head and they are assuming here that you don't need them something like this is showing up for someone we have a page of pentacles so this is someone here who sees potential real potential regarding this connection but there is also a certain thing here that they want to share with you and this is with this ten of swords with the ten of swords this person wants to share uh, it's like they want to explain it to you why they might be acting in a certain way in this connection we have a six of wands, a four of swords and two of swords. And I feel this person will share that, that, that situation. There is something here regarding work. Oh, it's like this person been played or they've kind of experienced situation that they got, they got involved with someone who was very sneaky. And I'm getting that kind of energy of a con artist. And this person is just maybe money were involved in that situation, but it, it, it really kind of left a mark, you know, on this person's uh, heart. I'm getting very strongly, but they do want to share it. Six of wands with the four of swords and the two of swords, because this person feels that they know, it's like they know that for, I'm getting here, Scorpio, that what what i am feeling that i am dealing here with scorpio who likes its own independence and i feel that you like space as well it's like you might care a lot about this person but at the same time um you would like to have your own space and for instance you know um go and meet up with your close related environment like family or relatives or go and spend uh you know 
an evening with your friends or something like this and this person is away it feels very strongly because they care so much about you that this person is it's it's kind of um, willing to give you that space they understand that they need to do it if they want this connection mm -hmm. six of wands this person really wants your attention really really wants your attention and i feel that you know that and this is also someone who will be giving you so many compliments with the two of swords next to this four of swords it's like i feel that what they tell you um it might give you like a foot for thought you start thinking about the situation and i feel that you will really kind of admire the fact that they've opened up to you but there is a like a bigger picture and i feel that you know you'll be coming from from the place of well i won't do anything now let's see how the situation will evolve and if it if it if it really start you know if the situation will start becoming a burden, meaning the insecurities, then we'll see. Show me this person's um, feelings towards Scorpio. So we have the star. We have the King of Cups. We may be dealing with Leo indeed. We have a Page of Wands. And we have a Queen of Pentacles. This person is in love with you. This person is in love with you. No one compares to you. They see you as a source of their happiness with the sun. They have very warm and strong feelings for you. King of Cups is the king of love. So this person really, really, they really care about you. They, they love you. They have very strong and warm feelings for you. With the Page of Wands, I'm getting very strongly here that um, this is someone who is who is considering to kind of uh, expressing their feelings or con con this is someone who wants to confess their love that they have for you with this page of ones because that's a messenger so like a love message here on emotional level i mean when it comes to emotions because that's the part of your reading we, we are asking about this person's feelings for you they want to be with you they really really do and they want to say it they want to tell you that or they want to confess their love for you with the Page of Wands. Overall energy, we have a Queen of Pentacles. This person puts you on a pedestal, that's it. This is someone who knows that you bring a lot to the table, that you have so much to offer. You're a catch for them. Absolutely. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Scorpio? We have the full. Ten of Cups. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Scorpio? Three of Swords, and we have the Lovers. Wow. So we have Gemini, Scorpio, we have your energy. So you might be dealing with another Scorpio, as I was getting. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Aries. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me for some of you, Scorpio, that this person is going to take a leap of faith and will will kind of ask you if you are willing to move in with them to live with them with the ten of cups because this person really wants to be with you i can't i cannot stress it more we have the lovers and it's in their action 
this person sees you as their soulmate and that's in their action for some of you i'm getting very strongly that you might tell this person that uh, you are not ready uh, to kind of you know to make such a significant step with the world and the three of swords and it will be disappointing for them because obviously you know this person really wants to be i feel 20 24 7 with you of course it might not resonate with all of you but I'm getting that for some of you might say listen you know let's take it easy uh, but because at the, let's take it slowly because at the moment I really kind of feel that it's not the right time with the world to kind of you know for that sort of kind of a move mm -hmm. let's give us a t you know let's give this connection more time the lovers my gosh you have someone who really cares but they can be quite intense and momentarily maybe too much because i'm i i'm start i'm it's like i'm getting a headache <laughs> and i feel this is this person's energy and it, and it's not that they are hard work maybe they are a little bit but i feel that they are very intense their energy is very intense very intense this is someone if that's not the case well they will if you are not uh, an item if you are not like an official uh, relationship this person here will take a leap of faith in order to ask you if you want to be with them in a serious relationship because it's like this person will say that you know i want to close the cycle of this disappointment that, that, that I've experienced in the past represented by the three of swords and it's it's like this person really wants to move on from that energy of three of swords of that again emotional disappointment dissatisfaction that heartbreak that they or breakup that they've experienced in the past because they truly truly want to be with you with the lovers as they see you as they soulmate but they are very intense. Gosh, really intense, Scorpio. Show me the outcome, please. For this connection. We have the tower, interesting. That's your energy, Scorpio, with Aries. We have six of wands. Show me the outcome. For this connection, please. We have the hanged man. I'm getting that impression, Scorpio, that you don't want to rush into things. Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like getting to know each other or dating, but not like a... Yeah. And I feel this is your energy. You might be dealing with Pisces. I feel that you want to take it slowly. What I am seeing very strongly here, Scorpio, that at the moment you might be focusing on yourself. There is something here that you want to accomplish. And it's like your focus is directed on this. Uh, I feel that you do care about this person, uh, that you feel this connection, but I feel that you want to kind of, you know, to maybe date this person, to be in touch with them, to, you know, kind of spending time with them indeed, big time. but. This is someone here who, who really wants to kind of move this connection into the next level really, really, really fast. And I feel that you are not in that kind of energy because the hangman here is, um, it's like, let's take it slowly. This is also like a dot at the end of the sentence. And I feel that, I just I just feel that there will be a situation and it's interesting that she has a want look we have a want here um, and I feel that you will yeah because the tower 
can represent building. And I'm getting very strongly here for someone that this person will ask if they can move in or if both of you should be living together. Something like this. Or if you're going or if you would like to move in with them. Something like this. And tower represents building. Six of Wands with the with the hangman suggests that you are not into rush of doing things like this, or you know, making that sort of kind of um decisions. Mm -hmm. And it might be quite shocking for this person, but I feel very strongly here that you will kind of reassure them that this is not them, it's just you are not ready, you know, you want to just keep things as they are. Because Page of Cups uh, as an overall energy for this reading suggests that this person has good intentions towards this connection. And I feel that you also have, you know, good intentions. You just like them. I feel that you have feelings for them. This person might be growing on you, you know what I mean. Um, and we have this beautiful energy of Nine of Cups represented by the Wish card. So make a wish here at the end of the day you will get what you want because this person cares so much about you and they don't want to lose this connection but the tower here it might be case literally that it will be that situation regarding you know living together and you will just simply say i'm not ready let's you know let's take it slowly let's not rush into things we have all the time can be that case but if not for some of you, Scorpio, I see here very strongly that um, I feel that because this person really wants your attention with the Six of Wands, with the Tower, you might uh, essentially at some point tell this person that they really need to chill. Because, you know, you have other things to do as well. And it's not that you don't like them. It's not that you don't have feelings for this person. But maybe that's the, that's the thing. Because their energy is very intense. Very intense. And I can feel it. Because I'm getting that headache. Maybe this person is giving you a headache momentarily because they are too much. But if that's the case, I feel that you're going to tell this person that, listen, you need to really chill because I like you a lot you know you are important for me this connection is very important for me but I have other things to do as well mm -hmm. it's not your tower moment it's just that kind of <laughs> moment of enlightenment and kind of this person if they want chill and they start being, you know, keep on being very intense or just maybe this person is jealous and again about them texting, it can be about anything really from text that you are not replying immediately or from as we were talking about them coming with an offer, both of you living together, you know, either way, this is someone here I feel who needs to stop who needs to kind of, they can be too much, they need to stop, I feel that you need space. And it can be a case that at some point you might even tell this person that, listen, you know, just because I didn't reply on this message doesn't mean that something is going on. It's just, I have other things to do. And it can be as simple as that. But, you know, the way you will say it, it will be quite, you know, uh, for this person it might be a big deal. But I don't see here things, you know, ending between the two of you at all. No, no, no. This is someone who who doesn't want to <laughs> end things with you. No, gosh. This is someone who wants to, you know, take things into the next level, move things into the next level. So it's like I feel that you know exactly what you want and you, you are setting here very, very kind of healthy boundaries. But Page of Cups as an overall energy suggests that both of you, obviously this person, that's for sure, but I feel that you also see a potential for something really nice, that this connection can grow into something really, really nice. Because that's a potential Page of Cups. 
So at the end of the day, again, you have very good cards here, Scorpio. So make a wish regarding this connection because it will come true. It will. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.